Kelly Vaughn, and this is Inside ND. Well, one of the issues, um, major issues in our community is addressing the challenges of our young people. Um, and we have somebody in the studio who is not only aware of those issues, but he offers a unique solution to the problems of our youth. And he is Pastor Jeffrey Pitts. Hello. All right. A junior, by the way. That's it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, he is the lead pastor of Upper Room of Indianapolis, Upper Room Church. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to Inside Indy. Thanks for having me. He's back. I'm back again. He's back with a new uh, album. Yes, ma'am. Um, and the album is addressing some of the issues in our community and beyond, really, the world, mm -hmm. issues of the world. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about those issues because you see so much Oh, at absolutely. your church in terms of serving the community. And let's talk about the community you serve. Absolutely. Well, I pastor a church in Mars Hill, the Mars Hill area, like of uh, Farnsworth and McClure, Kentucky Avenue, around that area. A lot of drugs, a lot of poverty, a lot of violence. It's just a, um, some people come into the neighborhood and say it's like a third world country. Really? I, yeah, it's like, it's like a forgotten city. I tell them this is God's city. This is where God's at, you know. A lot of... Um, just a lot of people who have who've grown up rough. Hmm. And, uh, and we're the, we, we got the church planted right in the center. To do, I mean, people come to the church, they'll put their heroin needles at the altar. They put their dope at the altar. They put their pills at the altar. We're, we reach anybody. I don't care where you come from. Small, young, tall, rich, poor. Come, come on. We're going to preach Jesus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> come on. And, and you're, you're speaking from experience, right? Let's talk about, oh, okay. about your past. About my past. Uh -huh. Well, I was in a, I was a drug dealer. You were a dealer, not just a... I was a real dealer. I mean, I, I, I dealt real life drugs. I mean, I was in and out of jail most of my life, hung around gang members. Um, what, what were you selling? Um, a lot of drugs. <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> drugs. Drugs, okay. Yeah, okay. yes. Okay, wow. Okay, and, and what else? What else were you, were you doing out there? And I'm only asking you that, not, not to make you look bad, because obviously you're the pastor mm, of a very right. successful church here in Indianapolis. But because I think if people know where you came from, then they yeah. know you're yeah. the expert on ad addressing the problem, fixing the, helping to address those issues. Absolutely. Well, I, you know, I, sold a lot of, I sold a lot of cocaine, a lot of pills, a lot of marijuana. I sold a lot, mostly marijuana, pounds of marijuana. Um, Basically, anything I could get my hands on that it could hit the streets that's selling at that time. You know, it's kind of like, what's, what's the hottest car that's selling or what's the best music that's out? Like, what's the best drug that's out right now that'll make us money? So mm -hmm. I did that and then uh, landed up in jail uh, about nine, ten times. And it took me that many times to, you know, really. Because, see, I was a broken kid anyway. My father passed away about a year and a half ago from alcoholism. Mm. And um, I love your dad. I know. Oh, he's a sweetheart. Yeah, you knew and my dad. Born didn't. again. Born so again. Don't let the people know he that. He did get yeah. born again. Yes, yes he did. Yeah, he did right. get born again. And I, I truly believe he's with the Lord. But he had he battled his own demons. I mean, none of us are perfect, you know? Right, right. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, he was a police officer, too. He, he was a police officer. And I truly believe that, uh, not to go off topic, but truly believe that uh, a lot of that, Contributed to his drinking, being oh, a police oh, officer. Oh, yeah, yeah. We hear that the about the trauma. Um, yeah. Yeah, you think about uh, soldiers who serve over. Oh, yeah. Uh, seize the post-traumatic stress disorder, and the same thing. All all police officers are, are local soldiers as opposed to. Oh, come on now. Uh, soldiers yeah. of a foreign um, war. Absolutely. Okay. Wow. Okay. So then, what happened? What changed in your life? In my, in my life? Uh, well, when I got out of jail, I got connected to a, a powerful church in Avon called Bread of Life Ministries. And I mean, I'm fresh out the county. I smelt like ramen noodles. You know what I mean? I still, I mean, I, I'm fresh out and uh, God just led me to this church. I got connected with some good Christians and uh, entered right into a revival. It was when the Lakeland Revival was going on down to, uh, down in Florida. And then they brought the um, some people from Florida back to the church and laid hands on me. I caught the Holy Ghost. And then that's all she wrote. I was gone. I mean, I started getting delivered from drugs. God started delivering me. For, he delivered me from the alcohol. I battled with mental health problems in my life. Most of my life, I mean, I was molested. I was abused, you know. Oh, uh, just a lot of stuff happened to me in my life. And um, I should be dead right now, you know. Multiple overdoses. Uh, but God kept me, you know. And so I'm all over the world now. I tell everybody about Jesus. I'm just trying to let somebody know. Like, see, you hear people hear Jesus and like, oh, no. 
You know, it's a, uh, you're going to preach down my throat. It's, it's turn or burn, hell or high, hell, hell in this. And really, when you get to know him, when you really get to know him, your life changes. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I'm a walking testimony of the goodness of God. Uh, most of the people I grew up with have been murdered and, uh, or suicides or in prison. I mean, I, about 70 to 80 percent of them. So how do you, using the word of God and your ministry, how are you working to solve those issues in the community and, and with the young people and their challenges? My goodness, I, I go, just, just like I'm doing right here. Telling my story. We have the church out there where we're creating uh, mental health groups. We have a, actually a woman's trauma group that's in the church right now for the ladies. And I just reach out to anybody I can. I've been asked to go um, minister at colleges. I don't even, I want to make this on the note. I don't have a high school diploma. I'm from the ghetto, and I've been asked to go minister at colleges to teach the, the, the students who are getting their master's in psychology. Wow. And to become psychiatrists, to teach them about the brain. I'm a very, uh, people said I should have been a neurosurgeon because I I just learned so much about the brain and mental health and how to retrain your brain and how to, you know, uh, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm -hmm. So I'm reaching everybody I can possible. I'm shouting it. I'm shouting it from the rooftop. And you're rapping it. And I'm rapping it. And you're rapping it. And, and so, I'm rapping it yeah, too. And I know you got a new album out, but before we yeah. talk about the album, I want to go to a, a clip of you um, rapping. Do it. Okay, and what, what, what are we watching here when we watch this? What oh, actually, this is an actual uh, clip of, uh, that I was on um, a feature with uh, a man of God named Jeff So Free. He made a, a song called The Plug, the, the remix, and Jesus is the plug. He connects us to everything, and he put me on. This is just an open door to uh, let everybody know what they can kind of expect on the album, you know, about how my style is and how I get down. So. Okay, so let's watch you get down, Pastor Jeffrey Pitts, Jr., Wow, you are working it on that video. All right. Amen. Amen. Where'd you learn to rap so good? Jesus. Nah. (laughs) Nah, There's Jay-Z and then there's (laughs) Jesus. Right. You something else, girl. Yeah, uh, you know what? I've always had a, a heart to write music ever since I was a kid. And I just wrote and then I just started rapping and then... I remember one day I got saved, about a year after I got saved, I said, what if I just started rapping for Jesus? And then boom, just started doing albums I got without religion out, did the mixtape, and now this is my second real album. Uh, shout out to Smooth Peter Bishop my um, and Hear You Music. I mean, I'm connected to a lot of different, you know, I got my own record label, Persevere Records. All right. You know, so we just, we just doing okay. it, you know. Okay, so let's talk about the album, because again, the goal here is to impact Boom. Not just our young people, but people in general, right? Mm-hmm. Adults as well. Right. Uh, you have a song on the, uh, uh, a rap song, Her Notebook? Her Notebook. Her Notebook is a song about a young girl who's been bullied at school, who battles with depression. And um, that's a very powerful, I mean, very powerful song. You can get that on, the album's on iTunes okay. and Spotify. It's called The Resurrection by Pastor JP. But Her Notebook is about a young girl who goes to school and uh, is depressed and is contemplating suicide. And she, she is a cutter. And uh, she's not able to explain this and no one understands her. But then through the song, she gets saved and her ah. family's broken. And then she ends up getting her, take it, telling her mother, you know, hey, let's forget all this going on, a lot, all this pain. Let's go to, let's start going to church. And then she ends up getting saved. She gets saved and then ends up going to church and she gets supernaturally healed and goes back to school and she's not the same person. Okay. Wow. Valley of the Bones. Valley of the Bones. That's one of my hit. That's one of the number ones on the album. Valley of the Bones is just about a, 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 you know, like Ezekiel in the Valley. It's about just raising up an army for the Lord. About te- we don't take no drama or no mess from the enemy. We are powerful, and you know, uh, we are anointed, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. And that song is to empower us to just, you know, Valley of the Bones. I can hear it now in my head. You know, go ahead, it's Valley. Just, of, go ahead, it's like, a bit. Valley of the Bones. Yes, sir. I'm a walking aftermath. Let your breath come like a wind. I speak here right now at my mouth. Uh huh. This army rising up. 
I'm wounded, but we're ready. This church has got to rise. His glory on me heavy. I mean, that thing is hard, boy. Get that, right, go get right. that album. Hey, go right, get that right. album. You got me going. Okay. Get that album. And then since you left me, what's that about? Since you left me, my fa- that was the song I wrote about my father, uh, about okay. him dying. Okay. Yeah, ever since okay. he left me. And, then, and speaking of your father, you're a father now. I am a father. Your little girl's so cute. Isn't she beautiful? She is like the star of Facebook. She oh, is. Oh, my gosh. She I mean, is. you see people put their babies up there all the time. She's but famous. every time you're up there, I stop. And I watch, and I'm like, what is it about this little baby and those cheeks? She, you, she oh my God. You spit her out. I, right you out. spit that baby yeah, out. She's so beautiful. Her <laughs> name's Meadow. She's so beautiful. You know, she, she's, I mean, she is spunky. I mean, she, I, I'm praying that, you know, whatever God has for her, I'm just, I, I take her everywhere with me. You see it. I'm surprised you didn't bring her to I know I didn't take her because I didn't know I was, I was supposed to have her on the set, but she, 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 she'll be here some other time, okay. trust me. Next show, next, next show, show, when you come back, because he is a regular hey, absolutely. here on Inside Indy. Okay, absolutely. again, where can we get uh, The Resurrection? Uh, the album The Resurrection, you can get it on Spotify, you can get it on iTunes, you can get it on Amazon. Um, I mean, just go check it out. I mean, literally, it, it, it's a powerful album that empowers just anybody, the youth, the old alike. Make sure you go cop that today. Pastor Jeffrey Pitts, Jr., lead pastor of uh, Upper Room Church of Indianapolis. Thanks so much for joining us. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. On Inside Indy. And we'll be back with more here on Inside Indy after these.